You've been very critical of the United Nations. I was just talking to the UN uh, at the beginning of the program to one of the reporters at the UN. There's been negotiations. The thing still hasn't been put forward. Russia's got the power of veto. Do you stand by that? Do you feel the United Nations has been uh, spineless? I think over a number of years uh, people have been concerned about the lack of determination and action from the United Nations. And here was a clear example where we've had... Uh, an international airline go down in disputed territory. Uh, nearly 300, 290 people, eight people killed, people from different countries around the world. Then we saw evidence of desecration of the site, uh, desecration of the bodies, uh, looting. And I think most people said, well, what should happen? And I firmly believe it's somewhere where you need leadership from the United Nations to actually get in there secure that site, protect and give proper respect to the bodies and the possessions and to make sure that crime scene is protected. Now, surely that's a role the United Nations can and should do. What do you think they should send in you in forces? Well, I think think they could endorse uh, a NATO force going in there to protect the site. I mean, I think it it, it just turns my stomach to see footage of people walking through that area you know, uh, smoking with guns over their shoulders and um, picking up bits and pieces and looting what is a crime scene and showing total and utter disrespect to the dead, dead people and their possessions. <laughs> 